What's up everyone and welcome back to the Mining Office YouTube channel. Today what we're going to be doing is migrating a few of my cards from my various rigs and computers into this Octominer. So uh, what I'll be doing is doing this in three steps. First of all, I will be taking out the Zotac card from this computer. That's gonna go in the Octominer and the VGA card is gonna go up in the first slot. And by the way, every time I pull out a card, I'm gonna use this X power blower here. Step two, we'll be going over to this rig here. What I really wanna do is stop using this silver server power supply, which is currently powering three of the cards. So. The three cards on top here, 1070 Ti and two 1660 Supers, those will all be moved to the Octo Miner. Another reason too is that this motherboard here natively only supports six GPUs and I'm, uh, I'm using a four to one splitter, which works well, but it seemed to cause some stability issues. Hopefully only having six cards on this rig will help. And it's the same story for this rig here, all right? This one, I'm thinking of taking off the Zotac 3060 Ti so I don't know if you guys can hear that, but these Zotac cards always tick. They make this ticking sound. It's like the plastic cowl around the fans. So anyway, I don't wanna hear them. And they're also dual fans, so I'm gonna stick them in the Octo Miner. They'll get decent cooling and we'll be good to go. So yeah, let's get started with part one. We're gonna turn off this computer, turn off the Octo Miner, and uh, get the Zotac card out of here. All right, so we're down to the single card in here. Um, I blew out both of the cards while I was at it and oh my god the amount of dust that accumulated in here is insane uh, Keep in mind that this computer the the side panel is always off it So it's exposed and I mean my cat goes around here It's exposed to all this open dust on the ground level at least here see there's some clearance obviously none of these rigs are, uh, are on the ground so Obviously this is gonna be the worst case scenario, but still this card was disgusting and the, EV, uh, the EVGA one was even worse because it was below. So uh, I didn't have a chance to film that. I don't have enough hands to do all this stuff. I need to get a GoPro, but yeah. So you can see this card is, is like new basically now. All nice and cleaned out. So uh, yeah, happy about that. We're gonna shut down the Octo Miner now, slap this card in. We'll get this running in Hive OS. We'll probably get it dual mining like it was. I think I'm probably one of the only uh, YouTubers that are still dual mining, I think. Uh, correct me if anybody out there is watching. But uh, yeah, we'll get it up and dual mining in Hive OS and uh, we'll hop on the computer afterwards. So here we are, the Zotac 3060 is now in the Octominer case. I also took the time to cable manage properly the Octominer here. I have all 12 plugged into the proper ports and all the lengths are good here. So for all future cards, we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna plug back in that power cable. We're gonna boot up and switch over to the computer in Hive. I'll see you guys there. All right, so I messed around on my own here with the 3060. You can see I got it up and mining Ethereum. Um, so I modified the flight sheet. I made a few mistakes. I had to play around with it for a bit. So what I'm gonna do now is configure this 3060 for dual mining like I wanted to originally, and uh, we'll, we'll pretend it's not mining ETH right now, okay? So um, I copied this flight sheet and removed what I'd done for the 3060, okay? This is this one right here. You can see it's called ETH Dual Mine Raven. So we'll go ahead and edit this flight sheet and get it ready to go. So, you're going to want to hit Add Miner here if you need to run several miners. The second one, we're going to pick ETH again. Uh, we're going to pick my ETH wallet. Pick your pool. Again, mine is ETH or mine. US East. Apply that. And we're going to pick T-Rex because that's what I like to use for all my NVIDIA cards. So, T-Rex Miner and Dual Coin. Now, you can go ahead and put none here, but I'm going to put Raven. My Raven wallet. Here, I mine on Flypool. So, we're going to pick that. Okay, let me just take worldwide intensity i'm just gonna leave blank so already this is basically set up now uh, what you can do is uh, set up your minor config if you want to change some other things in here so we're going to replace this here by x12 nvidia and extra config arguments i'm going to paste in what i had previously um this is for obviously ethereum mining so for dual mining uh, it's based on 30%, I believe. So I know this card on Windows ran stably with an LHR tune of 38 for dual mining. So we're going to try that. Um, this should be all the changes I want to make in the miner configuration for now, since I only have one card running on TRX miner. Okay, so I'm going to apply those changes. Um, here we should be able to update the flight sheet. All right, so flight sheet successfully updated. Um, and what we're going to have to do is do the overclocks afterwards. Okay, so uh, I'm going to apply this flight sheet and we'll get to that. So it's fine. Perfect. So the worker is updated. Let's go back to the overview 
And we'll wait for this to refresh and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit once it starts dual mining and we'll set the overclocks. I forgot to mention, I also updated the NVIDIA drivers. There's multiple videos on that, so I'm not even going to go over it. But just make sure to do that if you're adding in NVIDIA cars for the first time into your rig. All right, guys, so you can see here we are dual mining. It actually downgraded to LHR 37. That's all good. I'm going to change that um, back in Hive afterwards. So to get to here, actually, you can just open a Hive shell. You open that, and afterwards, you type in Miner to get to this window. When you have two miners like this, you can switch between them by hitting Control and then A twice, right? So Control A A. Uh, and now you can see here we have the RX 580 mining ETH. Again, if I hit that hotkey again, we're back to T-Rex Miner. So that's pretty cool. In terms of the overclocks, um, actually I didn't have to do anything because if I go to overclocking, for dual mining ETH plus Raven, it seems to use my ETH hash overclocks by default here. And uh, from all my previous testing, dual mining and mining Ethereum seem to uh, do very well on the same overclock. So I don't normally change them. The previous overclocks I used here are still good. We can look at those. 120 power limit. 2400 in the memory so this obviously you double it from what it is in windows this would be 1200 in windows and plus 50 on the core clock uh, i'll admit to a big mistake i made here at first when i was testing this um, i assumed even though it's clearly written it's watts here i assumed this was percentage so i was plugging in 70 percent and obviously that didn't work too well. So it took me uh, longer than it should have to figure out that. And <laughs> after that, well, I was good to go. So that's it here. Uh, nothing to change. And I'm just going to go back into the flight sheet here, edit it, and put LHR 37. So that that way, each time I start up the miner, it's not downgrading itself, right? I'm not wasting time like that. So I'll apply that change. We'll update that. We'll apply it to all the workers. It'll restart the worker. So I mean, whatever. But uh, we should be good to go. So I'll let it mine like this for a bit. And as you can see, I have two different flight sheets here. So if I wanted to, I could just run this one and my 3060 would go to mining ETH. So it's very easy to switch between configurations. That's a great advantage of Hive OS. So next, let's move on to the 1070 Ti and the 1660 Supers. So on to part two, where we're going to move these three GPUs over to the Octo Miner. So I'm gonna shut down this rig right now. I'm gonna remove these three cards and the silver power supply, which I wanna get out of here. I'm gonna get the six cards that are currently in there up and mining. In a future video, maybe I'll split them three, three, but I just wanna get it mining for now. Once this is back up and mining, we're gonna take the three cards, stick them in the Octo Miner, and we'll head back over to Hive OS. So let me get this shut down and I'll check back in with you guys. All right, so these three GPUs are now cleaned, all blown out, dusted, ready to go in the Octo Miner. Um, I got this rig back up and running pretty flawlessly. Like I said, just took the three cards out, took out the three to one splitter, connected all the cables to this uh, platinum server power supply, and we're already up and mining. So I'm just gonna do some checks to make sure the right overclocks are applied on the right cards, but already from the hash rates I'm getting, it looks like it's all good to go. So. Like I said, I'm going to pop this open, get the three GPUs in there, and we'll do one last check before hopping over to Hive OS. And here we are. Honestly, it went smooth as butter. So 1070 Ti, Asus Dual 1660 Super, and here we have the MSI 1660 Super. Like I previously mentioned, we have this one card spacing between each. And uh, yeah, so let's get this guy started. Let's go. And we're back in Hive OS, so you can see the three cards I put in are already mining. I save you guys my time making dumb mistakes and stuff like that. So anyway, um, what's important here is you go to the flight sheet, all right? You're going to modify whatever flight sheet you're using. And uh, when I first rebooted, the AMD card was running and none of the NVIDIA cards were running. So right away I suspected something. I went to the minor config and what I had to do here is add uh, to the LHR tune the arguments zero for those three cards because they're all full hash rate cards, right? 10 series and 16 series do not have light hash rate. So it's important you put zero here so it knows to not dual mine on those cards. So once I did this, everything was good to go uh, in terms of the flight sheet. I just went to my overclocks and I set them accordingly. So uh, I took as a baseline the overclocks I had set on Windows and just applied these here. I actually bumped up the lock core clock from 1000 to 1050 on uh, my Asus 1660 Super. This one slightly underperforms, as you guys can see. I might try retuning these cards at a future time, but I already have enough on my plate right now. But uh, yeah, so not bad. Like you see 31, 32 mega hash on the 1660 Supers. The 1070 Ti is pulling a solid 31 mega hash. Uh, 
uh, I upped the fans on the Octo Miner to 40% and lowered the fans on the rest. You can see my temps are uh, in the 40, 50 degrees, so that's really, really good. And we're getting decent performance on both cards. My 3060 is still dual mining solidly. I actually did have an issue, you guys can see it up here, GPU driver error, no temps. I had that happen a few times and my rig would reboot. It rebooted during the night while I had it mining Ethereum. So what I think it is, is my overclocks I was using for dual mining uh, are pushing this Zotac card a little too much when it's single mining ETH and uh, that was making my miner crash so what I'll have to do is modify these overclocks if ever I switch my flight sheet to the full ETH but uh, yeah if ever you guys run into that problem I watched a Brandon coin video which I will link up in the top right right now um, basically your solutions are either to reduce overclocks okay roll back your version of Hive OS or the drivers and if not you have to reflash Hive to your SSD or USB drive so that's uh, a TLDR right there but I was able to fix my problem which is reducing my overclocks um, oh so slightly because what I did is like I said I switched back over to dual mining and it didn't happen so the only difference between the dual mining and the ETH mining is the Zotac card so that pretty much narrows it down so what we're gonna do now is move the last Zotac card from my 30 series rig over to the Octo miner and then that'll be all for today so uh, yeah let's hop over to the other view all right so this Zotac card here is the last one in question we're gonna be moving it also makes this ticking sound. It's it's this piece here, guys. This piece here is not fastened to this one. Yeah, it, it starts ticking. So over a certain fan level, it just hits its uh, vibrational frequency and it goes crazy. I don't want to hear this guy anymore. I'm going to stick it in the Octo Miner and we'll be able to space out these cards a little bit better. I have seven in here now. So again, we'll be removing the splitter, uh, just plugging the riser directly in, getting this rig up and running again, cleaning out the card, getting it in the Octo Miner, and then getting it running in Hive OS. That's been the procedure the whole time. So yeah, third time's a charm, let's go. All right, the card is out, the rig's up and running. I just wanna show you guys the amount of dust that can get in these cards. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> and now I'll give you a, a view inside the fan hubs. Look at that, that's really, uh, really gross. So I just want to show you, I'm gonna go blow it out and I'll give you a, a few after shots here. And she's all cleaned out. I dare you to find a piece of dust on this bad boy now. And guys, let me tell you, all that dust buildup in there will affect your temperatures. So especially cards like this that I personally think have pretty crappy coolers and don't do a good job of cooling the card, you want to make sure especially these cards are um, well dusted and are performing to their maximum. So we're going to shut down the Octo Miner again. I think I'm going to put it in maintenance mode this time. I heard that's what you're supposed to do when you shut it off to put in more cards. So we'll reboot in maintenance mode and then shut it down. I also received the proper batteries here to put in the Octo Miner. So I'll probably remove the RX 580 while I'm in here, uh, slip this in for the CMOS battery on the motherboard, and then uh, we'll plug in the last card, plug in the RX 580 again, and we'll hop onto Hive OS one last time. Okay, so the second Zotac card is in. We're up to the full six cards in this rig. Before I close it and turn it on though, we're gonna put back the support bracket that was originally in here, and we'll start the rig up after that. All right, the brace is in and secured, so let's start her up. I plug her back in. Back in Hive OS for the last time, guys. Um, so what happened here is you can see the 3060 Ti put in took the position of GPU zero on the uh, Nvidia count. So you'll see there's a GPU zero for AMD and also a GPU zero for Nvidia. But before this GPU zero was a 3060. So all my overclocks were uh, were offset by one here. I had to re-enter them individually for all of these. And obviously here these are my new settings for the 3060 Ti. Um, what I also did is I reduced the memory overclock here on my 3060 by 100 from 2400 to 2300 because I think that's what was uh, basically crashing my rig before and you can see it happened here uh, not long after I actually switched my rig to, to Ethereum, okay? So that happened, then I, I clocked this back down to 2300, rebooted the rig and now we've been running stably. Um, so if I look at the flight sheet, there's two things I want to show you guys mainly in here before we sound off So what I had to do is go to the setup minor config and like we did before put in the LHR tune here So I put in LHR 75. That's what both of my LHR cards here seem to run at stably and Here is my question to you guys before I go. Okay, if for a flight sheet like this, I am dual mining 
how exactly am I supposed to get it to work with an LHR card mining ETH and my 3060 dual mining? What I've tried to do initially is come here to set up miner config. Um, I change it like this just so it works, but when I had it initially, and to my memory, this worked in Windows, maybe I'm incorrect, but I had it like this. So I had 75 set here. Um, to my memory, that was supposed to make it auto detect that you want it just in, you know, single miner mode and it should mine ETH, but it definitely wasn't working. It was trying to build both DAG files um, on my 3060 Ti. It was telling me I didn't have enough memory on it, so I knew it wasn't working. So I couldn't get it dual mining ETH plus Raven on the 3060 and just a normal LHR unlock on my 3060 Ti. So guys, this is my question to you guys. If you guys know how to do that, please let me know. Um, I also tried adding another miner, but it doesn't let you add two instances of T-Rex. So I could probably run G miner or NB miner. Um, that would be a workaround to do that. I'm aware of that, but ideally I want to run it all in T-Rex miner. So please let me know in the comments if you know how to do that. If you made it this far, I'm going to pick something up from DJ Mines. Write in the comments, hashtag I made it. And please hit the like button on the video. It really helps me. And if you enjoy this content, smash the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully this OctoMiner slash HiveOS tutorial helps you guys out. Have a great day and peace out.